Hey everyone, it's Thursday again, and you're watching Real Tubes. Say hello, hello baby. This week we're talking about representations of fat people in the media. I think that when you really think about how often fat is talked about and discussed in the media, you'll realize that there are a lot of representations of fat people in the media. There are just not necessarily a lot of positive fat representations. Um, you know, there are a couple, obviously. There's like Queen Latifah, who I think is just beautiful. There's Oprah, um, Catherine Mannheim, um, I don't know, actually I can't really even think of any more. But really I think the common thing in the media when talking about fat people is talking, um, re representing them in a negative way. So, like for instance, how often do you see on the news, um, you know, the crisis about obesity, woo woo, uh, my cat, um, and with the news report on the obesity crisis are like videos of headless fatties. In other words, people who they cut off their heads in order to protect their identities, but it's basically just like fat bodies walking around, um, sitting, eating, um, you know, close-ups of these of these bodies, and um, it's always like a scare thing. Like, ooh, look at how horrible the obesity epidemic is. Look at all these um, horribly unflattering clothes on these people that we should fear. And not only that, but you see in the media, um, fat people or, you know, larger people, and when they're represented in the media, they're represented in a way in the context of they're going to lose weight. So for instance, like Oprah has been in the media over the past few months, um, since her January admission that she weighs over 200 pounds and that she's fallen off the wagon. And ever since then, you know, she's done like a lot of shows about uh, weight loss and um, people who've gained weight and also have fallen off the wagon. You know, and you see these these people in the media and um, it almost just reinforces that fat is bad. Um, Oprah is beautiful and Oprah is incredibly successful, yet Oprah is very, very... Um, upset about being over 200 pounds um, so it's this this context of negativity around fatness other things are like another one is Carney Wilson you know Carney Wilson and her gastric bypass surgery uh, a few years back these fat people in the media make headlines because they of their attempts to lose weight uh, other representations in the media are like the biggest loser, like the players on the shows become the semi-celebrities. Um, they're asked on the talk shows and, um, I don't know, the show is kind of a sensation. You lump all these things together, the headless fatties, these celebrities that are trying to lose weight or have lost weight and are, have gotten attention because of it, um, the biggest loser and how, you know, all they want to do is, is lose weight. Um, and it's like this culture of fear of fat or hatred of fat within the media. So I think that the overwhelming representation in the media is this kind of context of fat. That um, fat is bad, so whenever we talk about fat we should talk about it within the context of losing weight, of um, the struggle with weight. It's never anything that's really, well okay, it's very, it, it is sometimes, but it's very rarely something that is seen or talked about as beautiful um, or talked about as possibly being, uh, you know, that is possible to be healthy and fat. You never ever see that in the media. Very, very rarely. So yeah, I mean, it's upsetting and um, the headless fatties thing, the thing where, where they always save the identity of, of the person on the news news story or whatever and then they just like do close-ups of their body that really really gets to me I mean I don't know it's just so manipulating and um, I just think that they're you know exploiting those poor people 
Anyway, that's it for this week. And, um... Bye.